Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Get some bacon then put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Hey y'all, it's Hans East Texas. Welcome back again this week. So thank you for checking out the hog drops with the Pulsar Thermion XP50. I am out here in the field. I'm literally in my front yard, blessed to be uh, a citizen of East Texas and have plenty of wide open area, uh, but just dropped a big hog. And I get a lot of people that check out the pictures on Instagram or they see them somewhere on social media and, and they wanna know how to great, take great pictures at night. It's not a difficult thing to do. Uh, there is uh, tricks to getting it done, a little bit of practice, but you can get it there. You don't need expensive equipment. Really, all you need is just a, a digital camera and a cheap flashlight. So I'll show you what I use. I'll show you the, sh the settings that I use and a little bit of technique and trick to get the perfect picture, uh, and you'll be well on your way. All right, so I'm set up here. I got my, my big spotted hog, my boar that I just got. I got my rifle set up on the stand. Uh, I got the Pulsar Thermion XP50, of course. And so I've got my camera. So this camera, nothing fancy about it. It is just a Canon Rebel EOS uh, T6, I believe it is, and a cheap tripod. You're gonna need a tripod because that camera has to stay completely still. Right now I've got a, a spotlight on, uh, so I'm, I can show you exactly what we got framed here in the picture, but I'll be turning that off shortly. Uh, and like I said, I'll just be using my flashlight. So. Uh, and, and pardon me because it's not easy filming at night, but um, so really to start with, how do you set up the picture? What, what are your settings that you use? Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you put your camera on manual setting up here. Uh, there's a dial up here and, and it's not going to focus very well at night. Uh, but you want to make sure it's in manual mode. So right now it's on M for manual. Uh, these are the settings that I, that I use and these are the settings that I keep it on all the time. Uh, you've got your uh, f-stop, which it's got that 5.6 number. Um, my f-stop stays at 5.6. Really, you don't need to know a lot of what these pit numbers do or what they are. Um, uh, as long as you, you put them on these numbers or get them close, you'll, you'll be all right. But the f-stop is how big the lens uh, opens up to allow more light in. ISO, I keep my ISO at 1600. That is the amount of artificial light or digital light that it'll add to the image. And my shutter speed is 10 seconds, so it's staying, uh, the lens is staying open for 10 seconds. Those are the settings, like I said, that I keep them on all the time. Uh, they never go off uh, of that setting, and I'm able to take uh, what a lot of people would say is good pictures. I think they're pretty decent pictures. Uh, but if you haven't already, go check me out on Instagram. We're going to show you how to, how to take these pictures right now. All right, so I'm going to turn off this spotlight that I've got off here. I'm going to show you how, how we set up the image, how we... We scan with the flashlight right here to get enough light or add more light or, or take light away, whatever we need to do. 
I'll get that set up, show you how I do it. It may take you a few times to get used to it or a few, a little bit to, to learn the trick, but just a little bit of practice, you'll be well on your way to getting it done. Cell phones take decent, decent photos, but at night it's tricky. It's a difficult, uh, it's a different animal, so to say, uh, as far as taking night pictures, because uh, as far as light versus, um, you know, shutter speeds and there's shadows that you have to get rid of and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I, I did take an online photography course uh, I guess that takes makes me an expert. Not really at all. It, it just makes me, uh, I, I guess, a little bit smart enough to operate one of these cheap digital cameras. But the Canon camera that I have, the Rebel uh, EOS T6, it's like a $300 digital camera. So you don't have to go out there and buy a $1,000 camera to do this. Uh, so we'll get this set up. We'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm set up on my image right now. As you know, I've got my spotlight off. All I've got right now is my flashlight. First thing you got to do is you got to focus the image. So you need a narrow beam of light focus right there on the center of your frame on your hog or coyote, whatever you're doing. And you want to make sure uh, on this camera you hold the uh, the the button, which the the same button you use to take a picture, but you hold it halfway down. It's very similar for most cameras. You hold it halfway down until you get a green box. We got a green box right here. That lets us know we're ready, the, the image is focused and we're ready to take our picture. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start taking a picture. I have it set for a 10 second countdown. So that countdown gives me enough time to get in position. What I'm basically gonna do is, once the counter starts counting down, which it is right now, I'm just gonna pan, that camera lens is still open. It's open for 10 seconds if you remember. I'm panning back and forth to add more light to the frame. Now, you may notice the first picture uh, is either too bright or not bright enough. You can play it back and uh, take a look at the, the image that you got. So yeah, it's a, it's a little bright. So the way to um, tone that down is just to focus your image again The way to tone it down is just not to hold the, you hold the flashlight on it for a less amount of time. So as soon as that camera, so as soon as it goes, you just walk by a little bit faster. Basically what you're doing is you, while that shutter is open, you're adding light to the lens. Basically it's capturing all the light that you're producing in it is what you're doing. All right, so to recap my settings on the camera, the ISO is 1600, f-stop at 5.6, uh, shutter speeds at 10 seconds, so staying open for 10 seconds. I put the camera on a 10, sec 10 second timer from the time that I push the button to start taking the image. It gives me 10 seconds to get in position. Um, when the camera stops beeping and it's, it is taking a picture, all you're doing is walking back, back and forth and just adding light to that picture. Um, to If you notice that it's not bright enough, Take the picture again, but maybe add more light by um, staying on the image longer uh, or, or walking slower past back and forth. If you need to add uh, less light, uh, maybe uh, put it on a, on, a, on a less bright setting on your flashlight, walk by a little bit quicker. You know, don't add as much light, but just play with it and it'll work out. It'll take a little bit to get used to, but you will, I promise. Uh, this is... Uh, a lot of uh, experience doing this and a lot of messing up and screwing up just so I, I can show you this and, and share this with you. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me how to do it. I hope it helps you. I hope somebody out there uh, gets something from this video because again, a lot of people have been requesting something like this, but man, I just shot this hog. It is late. I'm ready to get inside and go to bed, but thank you all for watching me. Uh, take pictures of this hog. Uh, join us, join us next week. Check out the late night vision show podcast, doing uh, podcasts on a weekly basis. Me and Jason Robertson and outdoor legacy gear. If you need a night vision or thermal scope, go check out outdoor We'll see y'all next week. Keep making them bacon pancakes. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also the late night vision show podcast to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Just hit this logo right here to the left and to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.